first step on the ship, guys. Almost there. We made it through check-in. It was super easy. I'll talk about that later. But we are stepping. <laughs> we are stepping up. This guy. I don't know if you see him. He's carrying a lot of luggage. <laughs> and he's making a mess. For the last. Oh. Um, this is like a sauna in here. It's really hot in here. There's no air in this terminal, by the way. They have fans just blowing hot air. Okay. Oh, almost on the spot. Okay. First official step. Here we go. Oh, it's nice. you guys can hear me but I'm super excited this is the first time I'm on a I have a balcony cabin and I will do a room tour in this video this I didn't film that much from earlier it was a little bit crazy we got here at the uh, the cruise terminal at around 12 15 and our check-in was from 12 30 to 1 but they let us right in and that was, part was super quick but once we got on it was so crowded crowded because the rooms weren't ready so everybody all everyone had to do was everyone could do was just eat um and we couldn't find a table so that was kind of stressful and um but we got our rooms we ate we got our rooms and now we're just relaxing we're gonna go maybe take a spot tour and i want to get a carnival players card and a coffee card so yeah i'm really really excited and i, I can't wait to share with you the room it's cute i really like it to show you our view from the room and there's the city here's the front door and then you turn sorry I'm if I do it long way I hate the way that looks in the video here's the first closet and then you get another closet that's uh, for hanging clothes and it's pretty long and then here's the one with the safe Steve's suit is already there and then if you turn this way oh so right now uh after they I guess they refurbished this ship you put your card in there and that gives the light on Here's the bathroom, and it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. Hi guys! Uh, I love, this is uh, something that Carnival does, that they put these on both sides. Here's the sink. I brought my own soap. I'm gonna step out again. Oh, my shoe fell off. There's the turbo toilet. And then here's the shower. And uh, you get shampoo and body wash. Shut that line off. And then you come in here and you get a temperature control. Um, then you move on. There's a couch and a table. Here's our away suitcases. And then, oh, so we're on room 6431. And then over here, I'm going to move back. More drawers. Oh, the fridge is here. And I already have some things in there. Phone, more shelving, the mirror. And they have more plugs here than I thought. But I'm going to put one into here and we'll get a few more. And then there's some, there's, this is going to be my vanity area. But it's a desk. They have a little stool. Here's the bed. And if you can see over there, there's a light switch and then USB ports. So that's really cool. And then we've never had a balcony before. So here's the balcony. Oh, I keep on forgetting it to push out. And right here. Oh, it's humid. And I showed you the view already. I'm just going to turn around so you guys can get... But I've got the TV. But here is overview of the room and it's a nice size I like it 
It's small, but I mean, you're on a cruise ship. So we had mustard drill. It started around 3.15 and it ended at uh, like 3.45, which wasn't bad, but it was a madhouse to get there. And uh, it's best to be near the door so that when it's over, you can go be the first ones to get out. And that's what happened to us, luckily. Uh, but other people were stuck like all the way. They move you when you come through the doors onto the deck, they move you down. And uh, a lot of people were stuck there and oof. and we were in the back so we were leaning against something uh, but it was quickly it was over quickly and then they had made an announcement that more if you missed it uh, you have to go to the limelight lounge and uh, do a makeup or whatever so it wasn't that bad it wasn't so bad this time and they still had it outside by the way okay so we're sailing away now we got a late start. We were supposed to sail away, sail at 4 p.m., but we just got started really around 5:15 ish. Uh, something about luggage, but I just wanted to show you. We're outside and the view and the sun. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna carefully. No, I'm too scared. Uh, we're gonna pass the bridge soon, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at the Statue of Liberty, how cool is that? That's a different view. Didn't pass the bridge yet. Okay, so we're still outside. Uh, we skipped the sail away party. We're just not into that, but um, this is one of the main reasons we got a balcony so we could enjoy uh, being outside but not being with like a huge crowd. Uh, but that's Ellis Island right there. Look at the view of the Statue of Liberty. How cool is that? We didn't pass the bridge yet, but we will soon, and I'll come back to show you. So I just came back from the casino and here is the fun times, which is just carnivals, daily, what's going on around the ship. Itinerary. Itinerary. Okay, itinerary. And then this is for me and I get a 1.5 liter bottle of water for being a gold member appreciation drink, which you can get at the end. It says last evening of the cruise and the gold level pin. Where's my pin? Chai. That's our room room steward's name, Sorry, room attendant's name, and then this thing back here is just our. We are doing an excursion for the last port, which is Dominican Republic, and we're doing a waterfalls tour. And let me just do a recap of the day. Hey guys, so it is almost eleven o'clock, or it is eleven. Time. I'm sorry. Omelet time. The omelet station opens. I might go. Really? Yeah. I'm still hungry. I feel like, you know, we didn't really eat that much. Well, I didn't really eat that much today. It's just, just so crazy this uh, when we arrived. But I want to just do a recap of the day. And yeah, so we got here. That was a little bit crazy. That was my favorite part. Um, checking in was fine. Like getting through security and... Um, all that stuff. You didn't have to wait for your uh, sail and sign card, which is the card that you use to open the door and charge everything. Uh, it was on your door when you came in, but just the the rooms weren't open. I think I mentioned this earlier. The rooms weren't open, so it was just kind of crazy, and there was no tables, and just it was a little hectic. Um, but once we got no to our no tables for eating, no tables. Call it commentary back there. <laughs> uh, but it was just a little bit just too crazy for us. I don't like crowds that much. And I know you guys are probably like, you're on a cruise ship. But there are moments on the cruise where you don't feel like there's 
3,000 other people around you. So um, we ate lunch and it was pretty good. I liked it. And then we, uh, our rooms were ready, which was perfect. And we just put our stuff down and then we went, took a tour at the spa and we, what else did we do? The spa, we checked the out the, station. oh, the mustard station. That was also a mess, but it wasn't as bad. It was, it was very, it was quick, but it was still outside. So that kind of stunk, um, but it's mandatory and just gotta do it. At least you don't have to wear the life vest anymore. Um, then after that, raffle. we did the spa raffle. Nobody won, but it was a good chance. There was not a lot of people there, so we didn't. Uh, but then we came back and we checked out the. Oh, we did the. Boat, uh, the Look at the we went to the balcony and we checked out um, us sailing away because our sail away was late. It was a like, delay due to luggage, they said. And then um, we went to the casino. We went to check out the fun shops. Casino opened at 7 and we played a few games. I'm down, but not by a lot. And then, oh, wow, man, and then um, we came back to the room to watch the sunset and... Then we went to dinner, and dinner was very good. I didn't like the main meal. It was a flat, what was it, flank steak? It wasn't very good, but everything else, the appetizers were good, the molten lava cake or the chocolate cake was so good, and then we went to get pizza because the dinner wasn't that great. I wouldn't get that again. Um, yeah, but we had an overall good day, and I'll try to show you more of the ship. It was just so crazy today. Uh, tomorrow there's a few things going on, and... I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it for the day. Oh, and I brought back, <laughs> I brought back to the room from the, uh, when we went, oh, we checked out the Lido buffet. Uh, got orange, banana, and a pear. So yeah, I had a good day. Um, it was a long day and I'm ready to relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed day one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.